Hey guys, Hope Up here. Going to be doing reaction to Pokemon Battle Royale Death Battle. But, yeah, screw attack. Um, now we're flying ahead in our cold winter in Mo or Washington State. To see, a uh, couple months from now in April, it'll be SakuraCon, then a month after that will be Everfree Northwest BronyCon. So, that'll be fun. I'm still debating if I want to go to SakuraCon. Though I'd probably just go down there to cosplay. I don't really want to spend a shit ton of money on hotels. Especially when I can easily just take the bus there. It's only about an hour. It's kind of fun to take the bus. I actually got to take the double decker. That is really fun. I do not sit in the front window because I still have a phobia of looking up. So. Even with medication, it's... Yeah. And I don't know why, it's just up there, I just felt more and more uncomfortable, so I had to sit back in an extra seat. But besides that, it's... Anyway, uh, let's just get to the video. A three, a two, and one. For nearly two decades, people across the globe have struggled endlessly to make one crucial... I love that game. When it first came out, me and my brother would fight over it. Squirtle or Charmander. It's finally time to learn if the one you chose was really the strongest. God damn it. And what better way than with their okay, evolved forms? Venusaur, the pimply plant monster. Blastoise, the bazooka turtle. And Charizard, the dragon. For a fair lizard. <laughs> For a lizard, but wild it Pokemon. is dragon, though. For those of you nerdy enough to care, this means no special EV training, no mega evolutions, and no tutor, bred, or otherwise unnaturally learned attacks. This way, we'll avoid any and all player influence. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze uh, their weapons, Venusaur armor, and skills to find out the passive who type win a death battle. Really good at damage over time, while Blastoise is... Pure defense the and offense. Pokemon Speed sucks. From Bulbasaur to Ivysaur and finally My first to Venusaur, Charmander. The seed Pokemon. Becoming but I've also loved water types. With every form. Seriously, what the hell is that thing? Of the three starters, Venusaur is the most well-rounded and easiest to raise. And if In I remember, combat, like, the plant is something defense, that's infused with its body, combat. obviously. Old Froggy Plant has a variety of moves. Fine whips for slapping bitches. Shut up, Classy! I'm gonna break your dick off! Hang on, Classy, I'm sorry. I will bust your fucking ass! I will bust your fucking nose! Then Razor Leaf can cut through whole trees. Then there's the Lesson. I like the whole inversion. Like it was really powder, cool. Which is used to put foes to sleep and take women home from bars. Venus I hated that spore crap. It irritated the freaking hell out of me. It can absorb health with leech seed like some kind of jungle vampire or simply... That's actually a by using good citizens. strategy. It also knows Sweet Scent, which aids the poor accuracy of the sleep and poison powder. As long as they're but not doing double team all the time. time. So it makes you want to shoot yourself. So much sun because the chance of you hitting them the is nearly impossible. That's a bug type and that. that's a plant type. It doesn't gardening. do it. Okay, now, never mind. Please. Must have been In enough power. Life, celestially powered lasers rely on heated magnesium combustion. Well, ooh la la, private hippie. I got an idea. Why don't we just plant a garden then? Grow some organic sun-dried tomatoes and open a farmer's market. Okay. In order to fire, the solar beam's temperature needs to be over 6,700 degrees Fahrenheit. We just don't have the right invention yet. Unfortunately, the solar beam is so powerful, it takes twice as long to perform as any yep. other attack. Unless you have a sunny day, as a grass and the ability. Type, Venus then get instant. Extremely effective against water They'll still technically two moves. keep them away from flying and fire types. Because as we all know, plants burn, and birds fucking hate grass. <laughs> Venusaur's well-rounded skills should still and tricky plant set types. could outsmart the competition. Ever, I mean, Ash Ketchum is just too goddamn overused. He's, four, he's like 14 years old when he should be in his 20s, if the not 30s. Starter Pokemon Where the hell is my little... To oh, and finally to Blast, I'm trying to find my... Pokemon. So how did this uh, thing mouse. come about? Did a turtle get really drunk one night and then came yeah. across a tank and was like, hey, I'll put my dick in that. Then nine months later, the tank showed up at his door and was like, boom, this is yours. Oh, no, no, no. No way am I that kid's dad. 
Wipe my tiny metal ass. Ah, crap. And then he raised it out of shame until one day it evolved. And I kind of forgot. Were like, That's fucking awesome. Why it was and like that. Started plowing tanks? Sure. I think the creators just... Blastoise was curious. Defense Tried over it. offense, using his weighty bolt to outlast and overpower foes. That's like one of the reasons I like water types. Shore, They're really good defense. Wave of punishment. As poetic as that was, he won't be winning any marathons. He's almost as slow as a tortoise, which makes sense. Unlike the giant gun sticking out of his back. In fact, he's not really a turtle. He's a, a bear. damage with iron defense. Barrel you know, he is technically supposed to be a turtle, but he's called a Belvier. He can jump foes with bikes it's a really confusing heads with skull bash, but most of his arsenal focuses on water power. Blasting foes with water guns, Shame. water pulse, aqua tail, and bubbles. Bubble but beam. Despite its lack in attack type diversity, Blastoise can maximize its watery weaponry with rain dance. Yep. A rainstorm that amplifies water type moves and blocks out. I still personally but hate using those moves. Hydro pump. I like offensive of abilities. With force to I'm a pure damage type. Steel at a range of 160 feet. Which is probably why I get my butt kicked up a lot. Water jet cutters <laughs> just are used use pure power. Industrially to cut through metal with at least 55,000 psi. Damn. Pounds per square inch. By measuring Blastoise's cannons in comparison to his size, we can tell his hydro pump has a power of 90,000 psi. Kind of makes you think <laughs> how his organs and all that would look like within that shell. Blastoise is effective against fire he's like type Pokemon, but too weak to grasp his spine. And when he's not battling, Blastoise can be found training on secluded islands to strengthen his combat skills. <laughs> if it plays its defenses right, Blastoise just might outlast everyone. Blastoise's strength lies in its power rather than its speed. Its shell is like armor and attacks from the Yeah, that's so me. Its back are virtually Defense offense power. We don't need speed. The final starter Pokemon evolves from Charmander to Charmeleon and finally to Charmander. Yep, this is my first the one. Flame Pokemon. Me and my brother so made one of those. They're freaking awesome. Well, that could be tough. A full I still hate they're calling lizard fire lizards tall. when they're what? fucking dragon. This bullshit! I want to ride a dragon, dragon to burn the villages of my enemies, not hang out with it on the sofa. Despite its size, Charizard is extremely fast and extremely powerful. Its speed and yeah, but its defense is shit. The other two starters twice over. The trade-off being unfortunate frailty. But since he can fly, it's pretty hard to get a hold of him. If last night's new ice beam, he's fucked. No oh, wait, no, no, it's still flying yeah. dragon. And he no, he's a flying type. So flying At fire. Range, he'll always have an edge up by using either slash, dragon claw, or shadow claw. He can strike from above with wing attack or air slash, but his real strength lies in the flames. He'll burn and bite you with fire fang, <laughs> trap you in a vortex of embers with fire spin, smash you apart with flare blitz. At the cost of self-inflicted recoil damage. <laughs> and of course, burn you to cinders with flame burst or flame burst. Uh, the smart Charizard strategy with those, like a Charizard, snow. don't this use all the same elements. Temperatures over two thousand degrees Fahrenheit. That's why I learned. Charizards are aggressive and warrior-like, and, and will actively seek fights with stronger opponents. Fire and flying type combination makes Charizard doubly effective against grass Pokemon, but weak to water types. If it spends too much time in a heavy rainstorm, its flame will go out permanently. And but he's so fast and deadly, he might just overpower his enemies before they know what hit him. Charizard, the fucking retard flame Pokemon. Oh, when competing in the intense name. battles, okay. Charizard's flame becomes more intense as well. Okay. All right, the combatants are set. Let's I have my bit on Blasty. It's time for a death battle! What's the Pokemon? Instead of the weak guy and the hothead. Hello. <laughs> Alright. Oh, rare candies. One levels you. I remember in the first game, I, I used this cheat where you get an unlimited supply. Hmm. If I was Venusaur, I'd leech seed both of them. And then you sleep and powder on both of them. Yeah, it's a water type, dumbass. <laughs> Is 
Sonic Toss! <laughs> right in the face. Back. Flare Pitness. <laughs> and Solar Beam. Wait. Poison. Oh, Sleep Powder. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was gonna say too slow. I guess you sunny day. Dragon Ball Z much? Yeah. Holy shit, everything's gone. There's no way it's that powerful. Charizard down on the ground, he can use Surf. An extremely powerful water attack. And with Rainy Day, it actually weakens Charizard in his fire attacks. He should have used an electric bite or something. But... Jesus! Oh fuck. And that's extremely strong water pressure. Um. Charizard's greater speed allowed first attack, and its proud warrior mentality led to strike Blastoise first. But Venusaur knew he had to take Charizard down right away, so everyone's favorite fire lizard was doomed, taking too much damage early on from two different angles. But poor Venusaur didn't stand a chance against Charizard's dual typing, and the bulky defense of Blastoise That's one of the reasons no one likes going plant type. They also, just since Charizard all and suck. Venusaur do not naturally learn Sunny Day, they could not counter the rain. I mean, I made a new but plant wizard, type. So they all just uh, counter each other? Uh, yes, the rock, paper, scissors Ultra Moon. is a bit tricky. Grass beats water, water beats fire, fire beats grass. But and uh, the proved, yeah, any Pokemon grass battle sucks. boils down to mathematics. Every attack does a specific amount of damage with specific effects to specific types with a specific accuracy. That's why I choose different abilities instead of just all fire. So by comparing every or move, water, effect, whatever. choice, order, and likeliness of occurrence, all there are strategy. over 7,000 different possible ways this battle royale could play out. And out of all potential matches, Blastoise wins the majority. Even when removing yep. type effectiveness Water entirely types rule. and pitting attack and special attack against defense and special defense, factoring in health and speed, the turtle tank still takes it. Blastoise H2 owned. The winner is Blastoise. Get her done. Next time on Death Battle. <laughs> I what that was. We're gonna kill all the characters like no one ever did. <laughs> like and subscribe to Death really? Battle. Really? Pikachu versus like you just that guy? Did. I run dead with dead. It's not my best work. Ba -bum -bum. But you can stop watching now. Click another or you're a jerk. Death Battle! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, silly. But, yeah, the... I kind of knew Blastoise was going to learn because he, I usually go with water types. I mean, I tried the Charizard and then it's maxed out, but then I decided, when I got my own version, I chose the blue one. Red versus blue. <laughs> but yeah, it's like World of Warcraft. I usually choose the Alliance, but everyone hates the Alliance because 
Yeah, the hard purpose, and it's like people who are shunned from society who just wants to be wants to hit their own, wants to survive or live, whatever. Instead of being shunned, but Pokemon ways, yeah, I always go with Blastoise. They're slow as hell, but they have good defense and offense. And yeah, it's all about strategy. Never use all the same type. Mix it up a little. Besides that, uh, yeah, hope you guys liked the video, and have a nice day.